Right, right. Yeah, so Draw this card a little bit. Yeah. I'm going to carry on the still life theme. Yeah, so I'll set this little de this little still life up here, and there's plenty of objects if anybody else wants to use things. It's great to see so many of you have brought things in. Really nice. Um, so last week I, I, my demo was on drawing skills, and um, I did a little bit on measuring. And I think what I showed was a very direct me method of measuring, whereby you would um, sort of measure with one thing. So maybe I'll use my paintbrush to measure with, and a pencil to draw with. So if I was, if I was going to paint this scene very directly, the, me the things like the bottle would turn out about that wide and about that high. So the problem with that is you know, if we've got a big board, it looks far too small. So the way I tend to measure is I'll, I'll sort of I'll have set up my scene or pick a scene, and then I'll choose one thing. And today I've just chosen this bottle. So I've kind of drawn this bottle roughly the width I think it is, and how I want it to be. Um, and then what I do then is I use that as my unit of measurement. So I just keep referring back to that all the time. Mm -hmm. And this is how I tend to work when I'm outside. I'll say, say maybe pick a building in the distance, and then I'll, use, I'll measure that and then compare that with the whole scene. Um, so just to, just to illustrate, I, I basically sketch the width of that in, and then when I measure that, I can then just compare the width to the height, and I find that that fits in just about twice to there, so a little bit more of the core. Um, I can also compare that to this width to the, the size of the orange, and that is more or less the same, same size. So I can basically sort of look at where about the orange started on the shoulder of the, the bottle, and then put that width back there, and that gives me that, that position. Um, also comparing things like the width of the bottle to the this upturned jug, and that was a, a roughly twice, so that, that would actually finish about there. So that's basically basically how I do the measuring, and I find that a really a more useful way to measure than to do the very direct measurements. I think the direct measurements are probably a little bit more accurate um, because you, you inevitably you sort of get a width and think, well, that fits, fits roughly twice, and you kind of try to sort of hold that width and remember whereabouts the top of the brush is, and then sort of step that up. But it is, it is a, a useful way. Um, so I've got got to that so far, and that's basically how much. I'm seeing at the top of the jug. No, so I just pop a little um, kind of a lip shape there just to finish that off there. And um, the bottom I can't see completely, but that's going to be a little bit like that. And the thing to remember here is that this needs to be more curved than it is up at the top. You know, it'll be like a bigger radius because it's further down. And then we've got the other orange somewhere in here. Um, and then I thought I'd do a little bit of, I thought paint um, reflective, something like a reflective surface or transparent surface. So I've, I've been thinking like this chrome jug or the, the glass bottle. Um, I'll start with this and if I get enough time I'll do a little bit of that. So with something like this, really what, what we're seeing is it's a very slightly grey metal but most of, most of what we see is basically reflections of other things in the room. So quite often um, I'm asked, you know, how do you go about painting sort of shiny things? Um, do you need like silver paint or something like that? And um, basically, it's just breaking it down to what you see um, in each area. I think probably what I would do is start off with an overall, maybe just a, a, a base grey. I mean, you, you could even sort of split it all up, but maybe just something to give you a grey tone that I could work into. Just mix a bit more of that. So for speed, I'm just using a bit of black and white here. So that just gives me a kind of background colour and tone that I can see there. And um, this is acrylic, so this would work. You know, it's the same sort of method I always use for oils. So going like that. 
um, and then go to a slightly smaller brush at that point. Um, the top is reflecting something very feels. I basically just take it as it comes, almost detect a slightly warm yellowy colour in there, something a little bit like that, and then a little bit darker just on the on the edge. Um, one thing you'll find is you'll get very with shiny objects, you get very quick changes from light to dark. Go back to the yellow, bring that in a little bit. Um, and then we've got some darks. So I've got a dark shadow here, which I think is me actually, I think that's my reflection. <laughs> <back here. laughs> And then there's another, I think we've got another kind of slightly lighter shadow in here. A bit darker than that. That's a little bit browner. That goes into there. So it's a little, because I've got a green bottle, slightly green bottle. Yeah, we've got a little bit of the bottle reflection just there. So that's just in, in here. So we've got a slightly greeny, bluey tinge just in there. Make that a bit greener. And then that lightens up as it goes up. And a little bit more the yellowy, browny reflection here, I'm not quite sure what that is. Like that. And um, just go back to the dark brush. And the dark tone, so there's another dark reflection in there. And then I haven't actually drawn the yellow or orange in, but that would start roughly where that would be. That would need to go in about there. Um, but because of, there's the orange there, we've got some some of that orange reflected. Um, to start with, there's a bit of shadow. I know it's difficult for you to see, you're not actually seeing what I'm seeing here, but there's a darkish shadow, perhaps slightly browny in there. And then that lines up to reflect the shape of the, of the orange. Like that. Most in shadow, but then Bit lighter. Um, and then really the highlights, the, the lighter bit. So let's get those in there in a minute. So a very slightly, it's not pure white, but it's a, a lot lighter. It's grey about here. No, I'm lighter than that. There's actually a bit more orange reflected here from the orange further back. And then there's a few bits of light and shadow down the bottom here. Perhaps you need that a bit darker there. So it's a matter of really just taking time and just looking at each area and just seeing, you know, what, what am I seeing in this area? What, what are the colours? Exactly. Sometimes it helps me to see, you know, try and identify what is being reflected. So that, that can uh, go to any one side. So I think it's starting to a little bit more dark in there. Yeah, so that, but it's a kind of gradual build up. Is that enough for today? And then I'll perhaps we'll do a bit of glass next week. Yeah. Good, great.